We'll start this with pledge. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Pastor Shane, you open us up for prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we come to you this evening, and Lord, we just pray that, God, you would... Uh, uh, bless each one of our town. Lord, I pray that, God, you would uh, guide and direct uh, everything that is said and done tonight. Lord, would it be for the benefit, uh, Lord, of our town, uh, but, Lord, more importantly, also to the benefit of the kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, we'll call this meeting in order. We'll start with roll call. Here. That's one of the Here. That's one of the Here. That's one of the Smith. Here. Councilman Here. Uh, before you, there's a set of minutes in the separate uh, small packet there. I think everything was in order. I didn't notice any, anything out of line. Everyone had a chance to read all the minutes. Is there any additions or corrections to the minutes? Hearing none, will be approved as written. We'll move along to the uh, police report. Chief Hunt. Thanks, anybody going to do it? I have no police report this month because of computer failure. here. I've got something to announce. We graduated a oh. first female officer from the police academy. Couple weeks or well, she's not went to gradu graduation. But she's completed her certification. So. She is fully certified and working her own. And we're proud of her and her efforts. Any questions for Chief? Hearing none, we'll move along to fire report, for Chief of Fever. I don't have anything that you've got any questions. You received your holes for all of your holes that was grandfathered, correct? I'm going to get cold out hopefully tomorrow. That's a good, nice addition. Uh, any questions for Chief of Favor? Move along the financial statements. Financials are before you. Uh, I think are still looking pretty good. Anyone have any questions over financial statements? Any questions, Michael? Anything you'd like to point out as far as financials go? I don't know that part. All right, if you need no questions, we'll move along to see the recorder report. Michael? Um, you don't want to do a resolution or something like that. That would be fine. Okay. The only thing that I had was you guys have the Right down to the local we'll government of that, but we'll, we'll wait and talk about that whenever it comes down to the first <coughs> resolution. That's all I got. All right. We'll move along to uh, new business. I will, uh, I didn't have this in on the agenda. Uh, the traffic study we've been doing, which reminds me, uh, Chief Chief and Jess, we have a meeting tomorrow. Uh, I sent y'all an invite, I think. I sent you an email. You probably didn't pay no attention to it, but I'll remind you of it. What but anyway, they'll be coming. Uh, I'll have to look and see what time, Justin. I'll let you know tonight. Uh, I won't say it's at 1 o'clock, but they're going to be wrapping up their study, and they should be at the uh, April, I believe it's April 10th, the next meeting, to do a presentation over their uh, report and their recommendations. It should be uh, 10 to 15 minutes, probably, to explain kind of what they did and what the purpose is. And, some suggestions that we can maybe improve uh, 141 and 53 at the four way there at the dollar store. Um, that's all I've got on that. We'll move along to uh, consideration of ordinance number 2023-02-13. This is uh, to amend an amendment to rezone 2.85 acres of property on uh, East Main Street in Gornsville. The Planning Commission looked at this and they passed it unanimously to uh, move along to the Council. It passed unanimously on the first reading, had a public hearing earlier tonight, had no, uh, no objections to this rezoning. Um, 
And at this time, we'll bring it up to second reading. I will entertain a motion to adopt this ordinance on second reading. Come back. A second. Second. Motion to made and seconded. Is there any discussion on this ordinance? Hearing none, we'll have a roll call. Vice Mayor Biggs? Yes. Councilman Bates? Yes. Councilman Honeycutt? Yes. Councilman Smith? Yes. Councilman Williams? Yes. Motion carries. All right, thank you guys for that. We'll move along to uh, re resolution 2023-03-13. Authorizing participation in the local government investment poll. You have a copy of the resolution in your packet. There was a couple of typos which Michael said on the official one he was correct. Uh, I think you sent it to Attorney Winkler and got his blessing over it. Michael, you may want to explain. I had to get the model from uh, CTAS because MTAS didn't have one. Therefore, if it says county or counties in your copy, which I think it does, I've corrected that to say municipalities. But that's the only place I could find it was on their websites. But basically what this does is it gives us authorization to do it pretty much as we need to. It doesn't have a dollar amount in it, so we won't have to redo it every time we want to. Uh, we do have to fill out an application and a form whenever we deposit money or pull out money. The other thing is the breakdown. This is what I went through is uh, preliminary numbers to put in there. Uh, general fund, if we put $2 million in there, that would still leave us with 1.2. And right now the rate is 4.51. That would give us a return of a little over 90 grand. Uh, sewer fund, if we pull out 350, that'll still leave us a little over three. And that'll give us a return of almost 16 grand. So this is over 12 months and we can't have it next day if something blows up and we have to have it. We don't foresee anything in the near future. I know we've talked about paving and sidewalks, but paving, which we have a street aid fund for, we've got uh, quite a bit of money in there. Uh, Mayor Mason is also seeking money and we're reaching out for grants on that also. We hope to have some numbers before budget time on what it's going to cost to pay for that. Uh, so we don't think that we'll have any big expenses. And if we put this money in, that $90,000 that we gain on interest could go a long way of, of sidewalks or whatever we see fit and not, not ever have to touch the principal unless we come up you know, with something that's major. So I, I think this is a game changer. Basically for us, I mean, we can do a whole lot of 90 grand a year. Uh, it's a new cop car or two, you know, every so many years, so. So in order, if you guys are happy with this, we would ask that you would pass this resolution tonight. I'll say if you have any questions, just shoot. Yeah, any questions from my court? This has already been corrections. Yep, I got that. So so the clean one right here. <laughs> no, you're good. So you need a motion? Yes, ma'am. I'll make a motion. Second. Motion made and seconded to adopt resolution. This uh, resolution, any discussion? Hearing none, we'll have a roll call. Council Mayor Biggs? Yes. Councilman Bates? Yes. Councilman Honeycutt? Yes. Councilman Smith? Yes. Councilman Williams? Yes. Motion carries. All right, thank you all. Get it rolling. Thank you all for that. Uh, in your package, there's a letter from a resident on Gordon Drive. Uh, this is nothing that we have to take action on. She addressed it to the council, and it's our job to get you y'all uh, uh, let y'all be aware of it uh, i have talking with chief uh, hunt on that and he's uh, taking the steps to uh, make sure that we step up a little bit of uh, patrol in that area so i've just noted that old business i don't have any old business unless y'all have any questions for me I don't do a lot. so if anybody else has any old business There is no audit committee and there's no further business. I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Make a motion. Second. second. Motion made a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion to adjourn.